We hear a lot about human error getting taken out of the equation all over the place. Um, things are becoming more efficient. That sounds pretty great. Yeah, yeah. The problem is that actually all algorithms, all big data algorithms and models, um, they're only as good as the data that goes into them. So if that data has bias, then the outputs have bias too. Not to mention that it's the humans that decide what success looks like. So for any algorithm, to build an algorithm, you need this data, which again, could be problematic. But you also need to define success and then optimize to that success. And depending on who you are, success might mean one thing or another. Right. And so you worry about how not all math-based decisions are bad. Some algorithms are good. Some become weapons of math destruction. How do you tell when one is not doing what it's supposed to be doing? Well, sometimes it is doing what it's supposed to be doing, and it's still bad. I define a weapon of math destruction to be one that has large-scale implications. It's important. It's also secret, and it destroys people's lives. So those three things put together uh, make it a really destructive weapon of math destruction. The example I think about is the teacher value-added model, where we get teachers fired by this stuff, they don't understand it, but at the same time, it's just a bad statistical model. Some people get a six out of 100 one year, 96 out of 100 the next year, and they didn't change the way they're teaching. So it's actually a meaningless thing, but it has high, strong consequences and it ruins people's lives. <laughs>